Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be tackling another Zelda tier list. This, however, is over Tears of the Kingdom armor sets. Now, this is specifically over the armor set as a whole, not just the pieces. So we won't be seeing like CC's hat or anything like that. Um, this is just the armor sets. But before we get into the video, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. All right. Let's dive into this because I love Tears of the Kingdom and I love the outfits that were introduced in Tears of the Kingdom. So let's dive in, shall we? Now, I should also note that this is also going to include some Breath of the Wild outfits as well. So with that being said, Tingle's set. I know there's a lot of Tingle love out there. I like Tingle. I like Tingle as a character. His outfit, I don't like. The reason being is because Link is like taller than Tingle you know uh, this outfit works better on a little middle-aged man <laughs> rather than Link so uh, I don't wear it <laughs> it's not for me I know I just kind of turned off a lot of people there but <laughs> it's just not my favorite and I don't like wearing it I just I never wear it I'll add it to the catalog of outfits that I have but I'm not gonna be wearing it outside <laughs> in public Next up, we have the Outfit of the Depths. Now, this one took me a bit to come around to. I overall actually really like this one. I don't think it's amazing, though. I actually think it's good. But I went from being kind of more cynical on this one, a little dark on this, if you will. I don't know. I think it was because the hood itself was a little weird. Like, half of Link's face is kind of covered and shows, like, one eye. It's kind of, It's cut very strangely. But I think the more I used it, the more I liked it. It's a really cool and unusual outfit. And normally I wouldn't put it this high up. I'd probably put it in okay or something like that. But I actually kind of dig it the more I wear it. Now, I have to wear the whole outfit though. It's hard for me not to. Because even like with this hood down, it just looks a little odd. Up next, we have the outfit of the hero. Now, this is the outfit that's based on... Uh, the first Legend of Zelda game on the NES. So with that said, it's pretty cool. The other tunics have pants, <laughs> this one doesn't. So that's something. <laughs> that is something. Uh, I don't know. This isn't my favorite of the the tunics, if you will, of the, the classic tunics. I like it because it is the, the first Zelda game, you know, the first Zelda game's tunic. But other than that, I just don't... Yeah, it's good. It's a good outfit. Up next, we have the Barbarian outfit. Now, this one was also in Breath of the Wild, as was the outfit of the hero, or the tunic of the hero. This one is pretty cool. I like how, like, prehistoric it is. Uh, it's tough. It's a tough one. Because I do... I really enjoy the markings on it, but I also don't gravitate towards this outfit normally i think it's good though i still think it's good i like the different markings i might put in okay later but for now it's good i i do enjoy the markings i do enjoy the helmet for this one how it's like a skull that's pretty lit but it's not as lit as the twilight outfit now i'm a huge fan of twilight princess i <laughs> it was my first zelda game so i'm a little biased towards it and it's amazing. Uh, it looks great here, especially with the um, energy capsules, the energy cells that you have clipped onto you. It reminds me of the tears that you would collect. Were they tears? It reminds me of the tears that you would collect in Twilight Princess whenever you're the wolf. So that's pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of that just looking at it. So I loved this outfit in Breath of the Wild and I love it in this game. I think the Twilight Princess, even though the art style of that game is like, you know, very realistic, realistic, <laughs> dark, you know, it works here. It surprisingly works here. I really enjoy it. All right. Next outfit is the Ocarina of Time outfit or the time set or time tunic or however they call it in this game. This is S tier. This is legendary. The colors, the way the outfit looks, the Link's hair you know, being parted and stuff, it all works. It all works surprisingly well. Now, granted, I loved this outfit even back on the N64, but 
and Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild, man does it pop. It just pops like crazy. More so than the other tunics, in my opinion. Something about it, man. I, I can't... I think it's the colors for me. I think it's the colors. I like how the hair is different from the other sets of green tunic that we have in the game. Uh, how it's more parted than it is just like wavy. I love it. Love, love, love it. Easy legendary tier for me. Up next, we have the charged set. Uh, now this one is Tears of the Kingdom exclusive, which is really cool. I really dig this one. I actually think this is my favorite dragon set in the entire game. More so because of the top and the bottom. I don't know, just something about it. I really dig it. Normally I wouldn't be into this, these kind of clothes, but I honestly really like it. Um, the colors for me though, I mean, they go together, but they're just not the colors I would prefer it being, but it's amazing. I think it's amazing. I think it's my favorite of the three, even though uh, when we get to the other ones, we'll see where they're placed, but I still like those two. But this one, I don't know, man. I think it really works for Link. And I think, especially with his arm, the way it is, his Zonai arm. Yeah, I really liked how this outfit fits. Up next, we have the climbing gear. I've always loved the climbing gear. Something about it, I don't know. It's always been <laughs> one of my favorites. I can't decide between legendary or amazing. Can't really decide, honestly. I am thinking I'm gonna go amazing though. It's great, it's such a great outfit. I, it's so simple. I say simple, there's actually a lot going on on it. You know, you got like the harnesses and stuff, the rope, but it just works really well for Link. And the bandana, oddly enough, I really enjoy <laughs> also, which is weird. What a great outfit. What a great outfit. I'm glad it's back in Tears of the Kingdom. Next up is the dark armor. Now this is literally like the dark armor for Ocarina of Time Link or the time set Link or the time set tunic, I should say. I think every Zelda fan knows Dark Link from Ocarina of Time rather than Dark Link from The Adventures of Link. This is more iconic. Uh, this is where you know you fight in that awesome arena with the water and the tree. This is pretty cool, uh, it, but it's good. <laughs> it's good. I like the way it looks. I like that it gives you uh, nighttime uh, speed. I like you know when it becomes night and you have the whole gear on, you run faster. That's cool but it is just a darker version of a pre-existing tunic, which I get because that's what it was in the game. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool. I'm so glad it's in the game, but it's not an outfit that I wear a lot. Up next is the Desert Vaux outfit. Now this is the male version of the Gerudo set that was in Breath of the Wild, but actually didn't make it into Tears of the Kingdom. The Gerudo set being like the female version. Uh, this is the male version, and this made into Tears of the Kingdom, but the female didn't. So that said, I love this outfit. <laughs> this is one of my favorite outfits. And with Link's Zonai arm, and you know how it kind of goes up to his chest, it looks so cool. <laughs> like it, it looks like it was made for him um, in that way as well. But I love his hair in this outfit. I love the color palette here. It's a little bit Christmassy with the green and red, but it works. You know, it has the gold trimmings on it. I don't know, man. This just works so well. It's one of my favorite outfits, and I wear it as much as I can because <laughs> it just looks great. Next up, we have the Ember outfit. Now, this is the Fire Dragon set, if you will. Um, this is tough because I actually really like this one a lot too. It's a different feeling from the Thunder Dragon one. It's, but man, is it cool as well. I actually don't wear it a lot, but I still really enjoy it. Um, it just looks very ceremonious, you know, unlike the other ones, which I mean, they, I guess they do look ceremonious too. But for some reason, this one just looks very traditional, very conservative, very, I don't know. It just seems very classy in a way. Yeah, I dig it. It's amazing. In Tears of the Kingdom, I made the suit a little bit more red, a little bit more colorful. 
and or I guess a little bit more vibrant red than what it comes as and it just looks so good it looks so good it's like a sleeper outfit for me this outfit's kind of low-key amazing yeah I need to wear this outfit more often it it looks great up next is the tunic of awakening now this tunic was obviously inspired by Link's Awakening uh, specifically the remake of Link's Awakening with that cutesy toy aesthetic art style and it's amazing <laughs> it's amazing now normally I wouldn't put something this goofy up here unless it was like really goofy but when you have the whole outfit together if you just have you know the the pieces you know matching with other parts of outfits it doesn't look good when you have the whole ensemble though obviously that's not his head that's like a mascot head and while that does look weird and jarring at first it kind of grows on you at least it did for me this outfit is <laughs> goofy in the best way possible i wish and this is kind of weird i wish the face was kind of emotive like i wish it would show expression and emotion i know that'd be kind of weird like just thinking about it but I wish it wasn't just the, like, you know, his normal face. I wish they made it more expressive because I really enjoy this outfit. I like that it's not just a mascot head. Like, it is, but it also has animations for his hat and stuff and his hair. So it does move. It does animate, which is really nice. But it's also straight up like a mascot, like you're wearing a costume. I wish it wasn't as shiny, but again, that toy aesthetic kind of calls for the whole outfit to be shiny, so I get it. Up next, we have the Froggy outfit. This one was a weird one. I didn't expect this outfit, like, at all <laughs> when playing the game. Like, you know how you can kind of predict, not really predict outfits, but you can kind of guess, like, oh, you know, the maybe this outfit will appear and look like this, or... You know, you, you get a piece of an armor and you're like, okay, I can imagine the rest of the ensemble. This one, I didn't see anything on it. I didn't know what this was. I saw it and I was like, wow, I want that. I want that so bad. It's amazing. Not only does it give you resistance to climbing up wet structures, but I love the top especially. The top really does it for me. The bottom and the headgears, okay. Like, they're not my favorite. But that arm, amazing. As the name implies, the froggy suit. It makes sense that, you know, the you got the hand that is like a frog and you got the feet like the frog. Yeah, this outfit just works so well. I love the top and how the Link's arm, his Zonai arm, kind of pairs well with the top. Something about it. But yeah, I really enjoy this one. I'm so glad it's in the game. And it kind of helps you with climbing those wet structures. It's not foolproof, but it's still pretty amazing. Up next is the Flame Breaker outfit. This one, I understand what they're going for. They're going for this bulky, you know, fireproof protection suit so it's gonna be bulky it's gonna be weird looking <sighs> like i understand <laughs> i understand what they're going for but <sighs> it's not my favorite it's not my favorite no matter what color i change it to it's just the outfit as a whole just doesn't work for me <laughs> like i'm not gonna wear this outside of uh dangerous hot places like this is just an outfit that i'm not i'm always going to change out of as soon as i get out of those hot places that's why I wish the Ember outfit kind of worked as uh, the fireproof outfit, but I digress. It's okay. I understand why they did it that way. All right. Now we got the Fierce Deity outfit. Do I need to explain why this is S tier? This is one of the best looks Link has ever had. This is like the coolest he has ever looked, and it's in one game, which is bonkers to me i know it's like a weird game majora's mask but it just looks so cool <laughs> like there's so much mystery behind this outfit i just can't get enough of it it's an easy s tier i love the the breastplate that I, that he has on everything just works the eyes i love how he has like no pupils and it just like glows 
He has white hair. Yeah, this, this outfit's amazing. Please add this outfit in every Zelda game ever, <laughs> please. It just looks so good. All right, next up, we have the evil spirit outfit, I wanna say it's called. Basically, this is Ganon's outfit or Phantom Ganon's outfit from Ocarina of Time. This outfit is pretty dope. I love that it basically gives Link like a six pack. <laughs> That's pretty cool. The cape is also awesome. Everything kind of works for this outfit, actually. I kind of wish we got more of Ganon's outfits, you know, as amiibo or something. I would love to see more of Ganon's outfits, but I'm glad we got this one because I think this one's also just like his Ocarina of Time design too, not just Phantom Ganon's. But yeah, it looks great. I love the look. I just wish we had more <laughs> outfits like this. Next up, we have the Frostbite outfit. Now this one is referenced by the Frost Dragon. I always forget the names of the dragons. But this is basically the ice version of the dragon set. And it's probably my least favorite. I honestly might put it as okay. I don't know. It just doesn't work for me as well. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I don't think it's bad or anything. It's just not an outfit I'm gonna be running towards. To, to using. I like that it uses frost or ice damage um, when you're in the cold. That's pretty cool. Um, I should say like the other ones use like lightning and fire attacks. But yeah, um, this one aesthetically, you know, visually, it's okay. It's just okay. Up next, we have the glide outfit. This is Basically the wingsuit outfit. This is something you use when you're up in the Sky Islands and you're just going from island to island. This wingsuit outfit is just so amazing. I remember seeing that one trailer where it first teased us with this outfit. We didn't know what it was. We didn't know if it was an outfit or a mechanic in the game. Turns out it's an outfit and it just comes with a wingsuit, which is really cool. It doesn't play differently. Like you're not gliding with it you're just able to have more mobility in the air, which is really cool. Honestly, the mechanic behind this is cooler than the design. I think the design is lacking a little bit for me personally. I can't put my finger on why, but that said, the mechanic, the concept, and the outfit isn't bad. It's just not my favorite, but golly, is it kind of cool. <laughs> I think it's amazing. I think it's pretty amazing. Yeah, I really like this one. It's not much I'm going to say on it more. The mask isn't my favorite, but I understand that they're going for that kind of bird idea. But I digress. Hylian Outfit. Hylian Outfit is a classic. If we're taking it as it is without changing the colors of it, I think it's good, right? I think it's good. I think the colors for this one in particular don't do it for me but like I love using these three pieces of outfit in different ways like the Highland trousers I actually wear a lot the Highland hood I wear a lot I don't really wear the Highland tunic a ton but especially in the first few hours of Breath of the Wild you know this is kind of the only outfit that you had that looked similar to Link's normal outfit it's pretty great, but the outfit as a whole, it's good. It's a solid outfit. All right, next we have the miner's outfit. This is a weird one for me. I like it conceptually, but also it's very bulky. I get what they're going for. It's a miner's outfit, so it's very kind of clunky, but like in a good way. It's just not an outfit that I normally wear though. You know, even when I was exploring the depths, I would wear, the pants and stuff for a bit but I think it's okay I, I like that there is a miner's outfit and I like the way it looks it kind of looks like the creature from Skyward Sword the name is escaping me but I'll probably show a picture here or there I it looks like that creature just like a little bit and I kind of like that so so there I'll give it that Next up is the Phantom Armor. The Phantom Armor as a whole is pretty dope. This is one of those armors that I have to wear 
the whole thing. I can't mix and match. It just looks weird otherwise. Kind of wish you can color this one. Actually, I really wish you could. I love that this is from Spirit Tracks. I love Spirit Tracks. I think it might also be from Phantom Hourglass, but I normally associate this outfit with Spirit Tracks because of Zelda and how she was in it. Spoiler alert for Spirit Tracks. It's... It's good? If I had a great, it would probably go in great, but... I think it's good. The reason I put it in good is because I don't wear it too often. Um, but I do like the ensemble. I like that the eyes glow red. Also, another reason I might put it down here is because the way it looks on Link, it looks relatively like small, which I understand Link is small. And normally the, the Phantom Armor, you know, in-game enemies like they're bulkier so I understand like shrinking it down a bit but it just looks a little odd a little odd I still think they did a great job at morphing it to his body but it just looks a little odd maybe it's because I'm used to the bulkiness of it from the enemies in Spirit Tracks the character models in those games are obviously bulkier whereas in Tears of the Kingdom they can't be that bulky because that would kind of ruin some of the animations um, you know, there'll be a lot of clipping and all that stuff. So I understand why. I understand why it would kind of be hard to manage that. So it's good. It's good. Love this outfit. Next up, we have the outfit of the sky, I believe. This is the outfit from Skyward Sword. I don't know where I'm going to put... I think I'm going to put this one in Amazing because I do really like this outfit. For some reason, like, I remember loving the outfit in Skyward Sword. Like... I remember when I, when I used to draw, I used to draw both Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword. Maybe Wind Waker. Yeah, I would draw Wind Waker too, but Skyward Sword, I remember just loving the way that outfit looked. Um, it was really fun to draw. But in Tears of the Kingdom, it works especially well because you're, you know, you're going up into the Sky Islands. It feels right wearing this outfit in the Sky Islands. I love doing that and just like falling down. It reminds me of Skyward Sword. And so, yeah, this is perfect for a game like Tears of the Kingdom. All right. So now we got the Mystic Armor set. This outfit, as it stands, is pretty good. I'm going to kind of contradict myself a bit in this list, if you haven't already told. Because... This outfit is so weird, so kind of, like there's a lot of elements I love about this outfit. You know, the hair, I love that you can change the hair color and make it to however you want. You can make Super Saiyan 3 Goku in this outfit. <laughs> I love the fact that you can do that. And I love that it's basically like a samurai armor from head or from, you know, the torso down. That's really cool. Um, the color scheme is not my favorite, but I think as a whole, I'm gonna put it legendary because it has a very unique gimmick. It basically works as the magic armor from Twilight Princess. Or to put it more simply, for those who haven't played Twilight Princess, instead of your HP being affected when you get hit, you lose rubies, you lose your money, you lose your currency in the game. Obviously you don't lose it all in one strike, but instead of taking out your hearts, it takes out your rupees. It's a pretty interesting concept, and I'm glad that they brought that mechanic back into Tears of the Kingdom in some form. And I'm glad that they introduced the Mystic Armor rather than using the Magic Armor, honestly. I think it's a better armor set, in my opinion. Okay, so next we have the Soldier's Armor. I'm just going to say it's amazing. It's such a cool armor set. I love the, you know, the Hy Hylian Crest on the chest. I love that this is like the most practical <laughs> armor set in the game. Like this is someone you would imagine fighting Ganon head on would wear. It's so cool. It's so cool. I'm so glad that this armor set is in the game. And I will also love that you can color it like black and make it like a black version of it. That's so sick. Yeah, this just looks great. I have really not a lot of complaints. The helmet's not my favorite, but the rest of the outfit, the rest of the ensemble, works. All right, next we have the Radiant Armor. 
Now the Radiant Armor is not my favorite. It's not my favorite. I do like that this one glows. I like that this one can change into a skeleton. I kind of like that this is, <laughs> that looks, this looks like a wrestler. <laughs> um, kind of. Um, that aesthetic isn't my favorite, but I do like that they have an aesthetic like that um, for people who do like that aesthetic. Um, but for me, it's okay. It's okay. I like the big belt, the big champion's belt. Like, they're, it's obvious what they're going for with this outfit, and I'm glad that they're doing it. It's just not my cup of tea. Next up is the outfit from Wind Waker, Toon Link's outfit, um, because this outfit is in more than just Wind Waker. Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks, um, Minish Cap, maybe, I think. Yeah, I think Minish Cap, too. Regardless, it's in a lot of stuff. Now, this is where the hand kind of gets a little weird. I mean, it's kind of weird in other outfits, too. I think it looks the weirdest when it comes to the classic tunics, because you're not used to seeing Link with a Zonai hand in these outfits. Um, but that said, I think this outfit's good. This is probably my least favorite of the classic tunic lines. I say classic tunic, but, you know, Skyward Sword isn't... I wouldn't consider that classic, but you know what I'm saying. The classic green look with the green cap and all that. It's probably my least favorite. And for that, I think it's the art style. I think while the art style is definitely not realistic, but I'm so used to this outfit being in the Wind Waker style. The, you know, the really cell shaded, very cartoony, very expressive look of Wind Waker works great for this outfit but when you translate it to tears of the kingdom or breath of the wild like it still has a good look to it don't get me wrong but it doesn't hit the same it doesn't hit the same like the other ones um because this link is more proportional than wind waker link or toon link um so yeah it's still a good outfit don't get me wrong but it's to in my opinion it's lesser than the other green tunics all right, next up we have the Snow Quill outfit. This one is pretty cool. I like I like the headpiece on this one. Yeah, I kind of like the on the ensemble too. Um, I think it's good. It's not my favorite outfit in the game, but I think it's I think it looks good. It definitely looks Rito. It definitely looks like the race of people that you got this outfit from. You know, you got the feathers and all that stuff. I think it looks good. I think for me that's holding it back is the color palette. Um, that said, I do wear this outfit a lot because it's the only one that keeps you from dying of cold. So, I mean, that's kind of the same with the fire one, except to a, uh, with the fire one, you use it kind of less uh, to a lesser degree. Uh, whereas the cold one, I feel like you get colder far more often than you get like dangerously hot. Next is the rubber outfit. Now this one, I feel very similar about this one as I do the Radiant outfit. Uh, there are things in this outfit that are holding me back. For me, specifically, it's the fish helmet. <laughs> uh, I think the rest of the outfit actually looks kind of cool. But yeah, that fish helmet, eh, that I just don't wear it a lot also. But it's not an outfit that I'm like eager to get in my playthrough. So yeah, I'm going to put it as okay even though i do like the torso and the pants yeah even the color scheme is actually kind of cool but i don't wear the outfit a lot this is tough okay we're just gonna move on from that next we have the uh we're gonna change it up a bit we're gonna do the zora outfit this one's a tough one for me um because i do like this outfit i like what it gives you like what abilities it gives you how it increases your speed while swimming and you swim up waterfalls which is really cool i think this is pretty amazing even though i do like the zora outfit in twilight princess more that maybe another video i don't know <laughs> rank like the the three outfits in twilight princess but this one's pretty cool i love the scales the the chain mail that you see um, the actual like shoulder pads and stuff the hoods a little eh, for me personally but I Do enjoy this outfit quite a bit next we have 
the stealth armor. This is like such a classic, I say classic, but like this is Sheik's outfit. <laughs> you know, like, so it's gotta be at least amazing. But is it legendary? That I can't say for sure. But it's, but it's a really cool outfit and like the, the different combinations you can do with it. But we're taking this outfit as is. And it's, oh, this is tough. This is tough. I might have had issues ranking this before. Risking, you know, contradicting myself. I think this is legendary. I think there's so much you can do with this outfit. While I'm not like the stealthiest person in a Zelda game. I do like that this gives you, you know, ultimate stealth. And the look is amazing. So, yeah, I, I really enjoy that outfit. On a similar note, the Yiga Clan outfit. For some reason, this isn't my favorite outfit. I was actually really excited to get this outfit. But I just don't wear it a lot. I, I don't know why. It's so weird. I just don't understand why. I think it's good. I'm not going to put it okay because it's a Yiga clan outfit, but I'm actually torn between the two. But I'm going to put it as good. I'm going to be generous to Yiga clan. I think it's very similar to the Sheikah outfit. And that makes sense because the, you know, the Yiga is kind of the dark clan, the cult version <laughs> of the Sheikah, if you will. But yeah, I'm going to put it there. It's good. I like the mask. Um, I wish you can change the hair on top but I digress. <laughs> I I like this outfit. All right, next we have the Royal Guard outfit. Now for me, this is legendary. I love this outfit. I love how classy it is. I love the hat and it's, you know, it's a very different style hat than you're normally used to seeing Link in. Not saying that these other ones that he wears is normal, but I, I just love this outfit. I love how classy it is. It's very elegant the way it is. It's just so neat. I love this outfit. I wish you can change colors on it, but other than that, I dig it. Next is the final classic green tunic look, and this is from Breath of the Wild. Um, this is that game's version of the green tunic, and it's the, the wild set, I want to say. I really like this. Is it legendary? I don't know. I want to, I kind of want to put it as legendary, to be honest. Especially in Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. Like, this outfit was made for Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. So yeah, I think I am going to put it in legendary. Why not? Why not? <laughs> it's a great outfit. You know, it keeps his hair intact. Um, at least, you know, the way he parts his hair. I really dig this outfit quite a bit, actually. Um, that and you can change the colors on it, which is really nice. Um, he has shorts <laughs> under it, unlike some outfit. But yeah, I really dig this one. I think the colors are a bit muted for my taste. If I'm going to critique it, I would probably say that. But yeah, I think it's really cool and it's surprisingly unique compared to other outfits as i say that i'm looking at the uh the hero set you know the the one from the first zelda game but regardless i think it looks cool enough and i think you know it looks great in tears of the kingdom and breath of the wild up next is the zonai gear this one is also legendary i don't really know how to explain it but it's basically the archaic outfit, which oddly enough isn't on here. We might fix that in post, but it's so awesome. I love this outfit. The helmet's not my favorite. The outfit as a whole is very Mayan, so I understand why the helmet is the way that it is. But the rest of the ensemble, I mean, it just goes well with his Zonai hand because obviously it's Zonai gear. But yeah, the rest of the outfit is just so good. And you know what? With the helmet, it's cool too. But yeah, this outfit is amazing. Better than amazing. It's legendary. And I like, of course, the ability of your batteries um, not depleting as fast. So you get better, get better battery for this outfit. And then last but not least is the ancient heroes aspect. This is such a fascinating one. I don't know if I can put it in legendary 
even though I think it's cool, I think it's pretty awesome that it's not only a different outfit, right? Now, granted, I say that, but I'm gonna put these two side by side, but you can see that it's obviously using the Zonai outfit that Link normally wears, which makes sense because this is an ancient Zonai being, you know, so it makes sense that he's wearing the Zonai gear, but man, it's just so crazy that they made an outfit that completely changes Link, like completely changes him to this Zonai being. It's kind of nuts, actually, that they did that. And so with that being said, I do wear this outfit quite a bit because it's just so weird. Like you're, you put it on, you're like, am I playing a Zelda game? Because you normally play as Link. And while this is, you know, the ancient hero, it doesn't look like Link at all. It's just, it's so, so conceptually weird. It's amazing. It's amazing. I, the reason it's down this tier, the eyes are weird for me. The eyes are just oddly reptilian and like not in like a good way. Like we've seen the other Zonai beings and their eyes don't look this weird, <laughs> you know? They look kind of normal for, you know, for what they are. While this one, this one just has very weird reptilian eyes. It just kind of bothers me um, in that sense. I think if they changed the eyes, I think it would look better and I would probably put it at a higher tier. But I like that it has like a tail and stuff. It It's pretty, it's pretty sick. Now this tier list is missing the Zonai Archaic set that you get at the beginning of Tears of the Kingdom. And that outfit, I'm gonna put it in post, but that outfit is legendary. Now that outfit is legendary in my personal opinion because it looks sick are you kidding me look at this outfit <laughs> it just looks so cool while also keeping the green color scheme that we're used to in zelda games i mean he looks like he just got out of a cave like 30 seconds ago which he kind of did in a way but he looks so cool in this it's one of my favorite outfits honestly I wish you could upgrade it. I really wish you could because it's such a cool outfit. This outfit even made like promotional art. Like they were really proud of this outfit, yet you can't really do much in terms of upgrading it in the actual game, which is very strange. You can at least change the colors of it, but yeah, they really went hard on this outfit and it shows. Now there are other outfits like the champion leathers or, you know, the, the original Champion's Tunic from Breath of the Wild. Which, for that, the Champion's Leather, I like more. I'd probably put that in Legendary too. Just, you know, kind of going through some of the outfits that aren't in this. And the reason they're not in this, or at least the Champion's Leathers, is because it's just the top. You know, you, you pair the top with the pants, so I understand why that's not in here. But it is exclusive to Tears of the Kingdom, and it is pretty cool. It's a tunic, so yeah, we're just going to add that in real quick. It's also legendary. I know that's kind of basic saying that, but yeah, it's it's a, it's a really cool outfit. Or at least it's a cool piece in Tears of the Kingdom. I'm not going to go through the, the helmets and stuff because there's quite a bit of those, um, but this tier list was mostly focusing on the outfits as a whole. It's weird that the Zonai archaic outfit didn't make this tier list, but we fixed that in post. But... That is that. That is my tier list. But let me know down in the comments what your tier list would be. Do you agree with my tier list? Do you think my tier list sucks? Let me know down below. And yeah, just tell me what, what your favorite outfits are in the comments. So yeah, that's about it for today. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. God bless.